Doubts about the results of last year's presidential election still linger in the minds of some Jackson County Republicans. Recently, the Jackson County Republican Committee, along with Republican precinct delegates, came together on a resolution that supports former President Donald Trump. They also censured Congressman Fred Upton and Peter Meyer for voting to impeach Trump. Jackson County Republican Committee Chairman Matt Dame said in a written statement that the resolution reflects disappointment in those who supported what he called the weaponization of the impeachment process. This is one of many of these kinds of resolutions uh, that has been uh, passed against uh, legislators uh, in the Republican Party who have broken with Trump. So it is a part of a national trend that is important, but that the actual impact uh, is pretty limited. It's basically just a pa piece of paper that says, here's what we think. In Jackson County, Trump received close to 59% of the vote, while President Biden had 39.6%. But questions about the validity of the election still linger in local officials' minds. I think the power is with Donald Trump. Um, if he is... Uh, going to continue to contest the election, going to continue to make it uh, sort of a, a badge of being a Republican that you have to say the 2020 election uh, was illegitimate, then that will have a big uh, effect going forward on Republican uh, views of voting rules and Republican views of, of government. Um, so I think the uh, Jackson County effort is more of a symptom uh, of this uh, issue uh, than it is a cause of it. Dame said the testimony of election integrity witnesses was credible enough to be taken more seriously by the Secretary of State and Attorney General and that they should have been investigated moving forward. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson has said they conducted more than 250 audits confirming the accuracy and integrity of Michigan's election. More than 1,300 clerks, many of them Republicans, participated in at least one audit. There are always, uh, of course, uh, some irregularities in a national election that takes place in lots of different local jurisdictions. Um, but as uh, the as Mitch McConnell said, uh, this election was not particularly close uh, compared to previous presidential elections and did not particularly stand out uh, in terms of the kinds of questions that were raised uh, about election law uh, throughout the, the country. The executive committee also came out in support of Congressman Tim Wahlberg for standing behind the former president. In a written statement, Wahlberg says he appreciates the support he's receiving and is grateful to be entrusted as a constituent in Congress. Your Jackson Neighborhood reporter, Joe Gebhardt, Fox 47 News.